Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and I had a customer ask me how to make a one-page WordPress site. So essentially, they like the look of a site that has the navigation, which actually jumps the different sections of the page. And so you actually never take people off the page. They just use the jump links to get to different content on the one page. So this is a, a demo of the speaker theme. And so I just have some test content in here. And it has a traditional nav menu that just jump to different pages, right? But we don't want to do that. We want to actually just jump to the same page. And so if you're wondering how to do that, here is how to do it using Socrates' the speaker theme, or literally any theme, you can, you can get the idea of how to do it here. So um, I'm just going to make a new page, and I'm just going to call it the one page demo, one page demo, and I'm going to make it a full width template for now. You can actually use the home sections template and sections code, but I'm going to try to keep this pretty basic. I just want you to understand how the jump links work. So Socrates Toolkit has some, some placeholder content, lorem content. So I'm just going to add in some lorem content here, do a space. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to make a bunch of it. Scroll down. It's a bunch of content, right? So we have different sections. And now for the sake of the demo, I'm going to call a few sections. I'm going to call this about. And I'm going to make it an H2. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. And I'm going to call it this section services, make that an H2, and then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and make a contact section. Contact, and make that H2. Now there is a toolkit shortcode that works great for adding in uh, divs. And so this is a really useful thing if, you want to, if you're really good with your own CSS, but you can use it for jump links too. So I'm gonna go in here and make a space and I'm going to go to the toolkit. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom, and there's a thing called div elements. So if you're an advanced user, you haven't seen this yet, you, you probably will love this shortcode. So I'm going to go in here and make an ID, not a class, an ID that is about, all lowercase. And I'm going to delete this content. Now, if I wanted to, I could put, in fact, it's probably not a bad idea to copy this and actually put this at the end of your about content. So I'm going to go down here and drop this to the end of the about content. You don't have to, but by doing this, if you're an advanced user, you know, for, I could call this about class, then you could do your own CSS for these different sections. So it's actually a pretty neat trick. I'm also going to add a spacer at the top of this just because uh, it makes it look a little better if you have a little bit more padding uh, when people jump to content. So I'm going to go in here and add the spacer like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna copy this um, just to make it a little bit easier and for consistency. Uh, I'm gonna go to services section and now I'm gonna change this to services class. You don't have to use a class, but the ID is critical. And I'm typing in services like that. I still have my spacer and I actually want to get, uh, here's one more trick, I'm actually copy all these three elements and scroll down and go to the bottom of this and I have this so I'm closing the services element and then this is the next element which would be contact. You don't have to do this like I said, you just need this ID. Another trick for jump links is you can literally just do a quick div ID uh, and place it in there uh, as well but this is a short code so it means it will never change when you edit the page. And so I'm going to call this contact. Okay, and the next thing I need to do is just close it out. So I'll scroll down, and I'm going to close it out. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to publish this page. And now I'm going to look at a new window. And you can see I have the one page demo, then I have three paragraphs of if some content, then I have the about section, I have the services section, I have the contact section. Okay. And you'll see that I have the main menu that was the same as before, so now it goes off the page. We don't want that, right? So I go into Appearance Menus, Create New Menu, and I'm going to call this the One Page Menu. I did a test of this before. And Create Menu, and now this is the key. The key here is I'm going to call, I'm going to do hashtag or pound symbol if you're my age. Uh, click on, uh, say About, all lowercase, and I'm going to make the text say about. And then I'm going to do services. So hashtag services or pound services. Services. And then finally, I'm going to do contact. This is how you do jump links. Contact. Click on add to menu. So I have a one page menu. I have these three links. 
If I wanted to, I could do drop down navs as well, but I'm not going to. I'm not assigning it anywhere. I'm just going to click on Save Menu. And now I go back to Edit Page. I'm going to reload this page because what I need to do is, is fill in my header navigation drop downs here. And I'm going to choose the one page menu. And that's it. By the way, if I want, I can hide the title too. It's another quick little trick while I'm here. Um, you can also hide the footer widgets and hide the footer bottom. If you already have a, uh, a footer bottom that you don't want there, you can just hide it. I'll click on hide that there. And so that's it. I'm going to click on update. And now I'm going to go back to this page and I'm going to click on reload. And you see I got rid of the title. So I have this top section. I have an about section. I have a services section. I have the contact section. And my footer is gone. But this is the key. You see these links are up here, about services contact. If I click on contact, it jumps to contact. If I click on services, it jumps to services. Now, one of the things you may notice, depending on your site, is that with this theme, it kind of has a, um, a full height sticky footer on it. So that the contact link is going to, the reason that there's a gap here, just if you're wondering, is the gap is because there's not enough content to fill the whole screen. So it basically is going to show this on the page. But if you have minimal contact content, uh, it's it's going to show somewhere in the middle of the page, or, or lower or higher. But the the other ones will always jump to the top like that. So that's why I added a little spacer as well, because when you're testing on your own uh, install, the the uh, admin bar takes up a little room. So if I was to show this in uh, incognito window, so I'll go new incognito window, and where's my link? Let me take my link and. Dun, dun, dun. And you can see incognito window, it looks fine. There's the little bar. But the admin bar in WordPress will fill up some of the room. So that's pretty much how this works. So you can create as many jump links as you want. Uh, you know, if you have an order button or something like that, you can do the order button and it jumps to the order button. Um, you can't assign a menu to the bottom footer automatically. And there's definitely the CSS code you can use per page if you want to do custom looks. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to mention just to in the customizer, I made all these little classes for this stuff, remember? So, so if I went in the customizer and clicked on additional CSS, remember I made all this different code? So I could do, uh, oops, uh, about class, remember I did that one? And I could do like uh, font uh, size is 11px, just doesn't it? See how that dropped, that font size dropped? and this font size didn't, that just gives you an idea that I created those CSS classes. So if you want, you can do advanced stuff, background colors, things like that. Um, the background color is not going to go full, but if I did background color is um, 333, you can see it changes the background color, right? Pretty neat trick. So you can change any, you can change any of that stuff in there if you want. So that's just a neat trick, and I hope this uh, demo was helpful. And uh, I will do maybe some more of this kind of thing with some more advanced uh, looks uh, for niche layouts and stuff if people want, uh, want me to. All right. Thanks for your time.